Welcome back to Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activerse, your host with the most banger videos on YouTube. We're gonna be going over my four year hair transformation. So I started off, you know, just like you, with short hair, having to deal with, you know, nappiness, or whatever is the struggle that you was going through. I dealt with the same issue. So today I'm gonna be going over my journey, but before we get into it, I wanna just say thank you guys for subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys for getting the Pineapple Fam Facebook group to 100 members, and also, of course, if you want to join, it's free to join. It was where everybody shares their journey to inspire others, to educate others, and then build a community. And finally, the Instagram page has been going up numbers too, and uh, we've been able to feature a lot of you guys there on our story. So if you guys have not been featured yet, just DM me on there on Pineapple World, and then we're gonna we gonna get you featured. I'm soon gonna be working on Pineapple World website where we're gonna have dreadlock jewelries and also a lot of new things that I want to bring in to that website. So for those of you guys that I've been waiting for the dreadlock jewelry. I'm excited to announce that they will be on that website, not on Activerse.com. Activerse.com is going to be a separate thing. But without further ado, let's get into this video. This is my four year hair transformation. It's crazy, man. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is 2017 when I started my journey uh, to grow my hair. I used to have a longer hair uh, around that time because I wanted to get like um, different styles for my hair. I always recommend this for the for the people that want to get dreadlocks in the uh, in the first place to kind of like try out different hairstyles before you change it. This is 2018 right here. You guys see the length coming in, the different styles that I'm doing. Uh, I'm just kind of like starting to feel myself like, oh, I love this style. Actually, I want to keep it. But the other uh, other thing that I thought about during this time was how frustrating it was to comb out that hair, to wash that hair, almost like maintaining it like uh like a like a kid man like a child I, you gotta take care of that thing every time and so i kind of started to get fed up by it at the same time i wanted to do a few more uh, hairstyles before i switched up to a whole new lock journey so right here i did cornrows um i did two strand twists i did a lot of two strand twists i did also um uh what else did i do I think I did a lot of bun style like that style right there was like my go-to like I was known for that style you know what I mean and so and uh, my hair was curly already so it was easy to maintain that kind of bun it was just like you know you put it in a bun and like or you put some spray water on it and then you put it in the bun and boom you're done uh, and then like I shake my hair and then it just for forms this coil and to keep the curl going too, I used to do two strand twist what well, two strand twist helps out with it, it, it Two strand twist helps out with basically getting your hair coiled up. Like it literally will coil it up very good. And this is at the end of 2018 when I'm about to get my dreadlocks. This is Gunther the Gray about to give me the dreadlocks. And I did a um, I did a coil method, just a finger coil method uh, or a one strand just twist method. So not two strand twist, but just one strand of it. You just take it and then twist it. And that's what that looked like. And then right here is like literally uh, right the day after I got my uh, dreadlock jewelry. I, I said dreadlock jewelry. The day I got my dreadlocks and I had dyed it, uh, I had bleached the tips of it. And I really started liking it. The fact that I wanted to dye the tips of it was that I wanted to look like a dreadlock. I didn't want it to look like a different style that I had. I, I wanted to look like a dreadlock. And uh, this hairstyle right here, I was wanting for a long time, which X did before. And um, I think he's the one that started this hairstyle, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe somebody has done it, just nobody knew about it or something like that. I don't know but that's the first time I seen it and I wanted to do it uh, I started to like my hair uh, the only thing is like I regret is I always kept it in a ponytail I should have just kept it in a god dang like like down like why don't you rock it down it looks good did he but my thought was at that time like I was like oh I don't like it down but now when I look back I'm like dang it looks good should have rocked it down this is like one of the professional photo shoots that I had with Visionary Production at that time called Taj or Coney, uh, Coney Vision. Uh, and so like I started my YouTube channel right here, 2019, April. And this is when you're gonna, you guys are gonna start seeing more videos of my hair. Uh, the other thing is I wasn't taking care of it. I didn't know how to take care of it. I didn't know, like I was, you know, before that I had a long hair, so I was fed up taking care of my hair. So all I did is put it in a ponytail, take it out the ponytail, put it in a ponytail, take it out the ponytail, and then wash it. And this is the time actually I washed it right there, and you can see uh, it looks fresh, it looks neat, it looks clean. I should have rocked it down. It looks so good, man. 
I don't know what I was thinking. Right here is the day that I graduated, July 2019, with my, my with my associates. Uh, and I was trying to figure out how to put it in a goddamn cap. And it was so hard to put it in a cap. Uh, right here, I wasn't taking care of it. Look at look at the connections. Look at the connections. Like I was not taking care of my hair. No retwist whatsoever since the day I started. Just letting it grow, letting it grow, letting it grow. And it got bad. Like I got scared. I, got, I thought I had to restart my dreadlocks. I thought there was no way going back. Uh, so I decided to kind of do like a little free form, but at the same time I wanted to get out of the free form. And this is when I was frustrated and I started to look for a professional like a uh, loctician. But at the same time I knew uh, somebody that did really good with hair. We did the ACV rinse before, we did a new twist out, and this is when Gun to the Great saved my life. Uh, and you see the bottom uh, pieces now retwisted and everything. and. I was able to come out of there, man. I thought I had to literally cut it, man. I really was like on the border of me just like saying, okay, I'm done with this type of deal. But a lot of you guys motivated me, so I thank you guys for that. Right here is when I died at half and half, as you guys had requested. I hit 10,000 followers or subscribers on Activers channel, I believe, at that time. And I was very happy about it. Um, it was my birthday, and that's why you see the hooray in the back. Um, and yeah, man, the growth started to like really... Uh, transcend and I was I was getting into like I was getting tired of my hair at the same time but like you got to keep pushing man like especially like during the times that you kind of starting I think it's harder than where I was at um, so right here I had to dye it back to black because of the wedding I just got married March of 2020 uh, so March April so this is the next month after that and we had honeymoon and everything like that and uh, I'm learning right here how to take care of my hair to retwist and stuff like that so um, you know like right here at this point like it was like ponytail looked really good because of the pineapple style uh, I did like a hair recount right here I think I had 54 dreadlocks um, I started with I think I started with 54 and I think right here I had 51 or so because of some of them turned to Congos and stuff like that and so uh, I had to let them be what they wanted to be uh, for some but some of them I had to take it out of course out of the Congo and uh, it is definitely like a, a, a journey man I had to go through there was a lot of times that I was like okay I'm tired of this hair uh, and then there's a lot of times that I'm like I appreciate this hair this hair looks good it's easy to maintain and this is the time that I really appreciated my hair right here you guys can see I'm getting a little bulky uh, marriage you know what I'm saying when marriage hits man <laughs> it's different and then I dyed the blue also as you guys requested this is when I hit 20k yeah this is when I hit 20k then that's crazy June of 2020 when I had 20k and then yeah like I was ready to basically go to a different color after a while the blue started to fade out so I went to black and then as you guys had requested oh actually no the blue one was for 10k I think and then the silver one is with 20k silver one I got for 20k so right here is I got it uh, to silver and then the silver was a wax so I just washed it out and then um, I bleached, re-bleached my hair a few times to get it ready for the last hair that is inspired by Pineapple World. Uh, this is when I started Pineapple World channel and we just hit 30k also. So it was just like the 20k to 30k I think it was kind of like almost back to back and I appreciate that. This is on Activers channel and then this is when I brought out the new hair color for 30k inspired by Pineapple World world which is the green dreadlocks the green dreadlocks is literally fire uh it faded out right now as i'm talking it's fade out it's faded out a little bit uh, when i had it the first day it looked really amazing i think it's, it's just the color is very semi permanent and so and i wanted to keep it like that because i'm getting a new color soon too um so stay tuned for that if you guys want to subscribe to my uh activist channel make sure you guys do so but this is my journey man it's crazy it's been four years i'm gonna go in details about it on my activist channel soon uh, but this is basically for pineapple world to kind of introduce myself to you guys thank you all for watching this video hopefully you enjoy this video so you can comment below your journey if you want to share your journey go to our facebook groups at pineapple fam or 
or you can find the link in the description to share your journey. We love having people share their journey there. There's a lot of people that share, uh, you know, the struggles that they went through or where they're at right now, or even if they need help, they end up commenting because it's set up for everybody to inspire each other, educate one another so we can build a community. I want you guys to hit the like button for this video and also comment down below your journey, your struggles, the things that you had dealt with, or even where you're at in your journey down below. Comment, 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 comment. But till next time, this is Pineapple World, where your hair journey matters. I'm Activerse, and I'm out.